Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part 7 of our series of session on Tally's latest release 5.0 and we are covering the major highlight of release 5.0 is the GST connected feature. In today's video, we will see very important and very critical feature that Tally is provided especially for the business owner to view this report on a regular basis which is the ITC at risk, which means once the vendors have filed their return by the due date, for example, filing of GSTR 1 for monthly return filing dealers is 11th of the subsequent month. And for the QRMP scheme people, they can file their return monthly using IFF scheme plus the e-invoice generating business dealers after 11th and 13th for the IFF filing, you can now cross-check with the purchase entry that you have made in your books of account with the data downloaded from GST portal and compare and view what are the bills which you have accounted is reflecting in the GST portal in your account and what is the amount of ITC risk tally is going to automatically display those information which is going to be very very critical for you especially as a business owner because it is the matter of cash flow management. So let us go to tally and see this wonderful feature of viewing the ITC at risk and see how you can make use of this feature to manage your cash flow better. To view the ITC at risk, you have two options. One is if you are maintaining bill wise detail for the party ledger master, you can view the ITC at risk through the outstanding of payable. In case, let us say you are not maintaining bill wise detail, no issues you can still view the ITC at risk directly from each of the parties ledger voucher also. So first I'm going to show you how we can view the ITC at risk through the outstanding payables of parties. To view the payable outstanding, click on display more report, select statements of accounts and select outstandings. And from the outstandings, let us select payables click on payables so this report is bills payable report details of pending bill i have filtered for the month of august and september only remember that you should download your gstr 2a and 2b for you to view the itc at risk information so only when you download 2a and 2b you will know what is the value that you have entered in your books of account and what you are the other party your vendor is uploaded their invoice detail. If you recall, in my previous video, I had already downloaded GSTR 2A. Now with this information, for you to view the pending amount with the GST value, all you have to do is click on F12 configure and come down here, due on, we don't have to see, say no. Show overdue also we can say as no. And this is important show itc at risk and balance amount we are going to say yes enter show gst status yes enter show breakup of book and portal amount yes we want to see enter and if you want you can enable show party gst also so with this option you can just save this configuration by pressing ctrl a for the month of august all the dealers would have filed their gstr 1 return and 3b return and since i have downloaded my gstr 2a and this is my live data company that you are viewing so these are the entries that is reflecting on the portal if you see all these entries are matching with the portal value which means that i am eligible to claim 
input tax credit now there are two more columns here you can just come here and see the difference here now these amounts are reconciled you notice here it says the status as reconciled and this one bill it says mismatch so we'll have to see what is this mismatch and if you notice here from the month of september the day i am recording this it is 6th of october which means people have still not filed their gstr one return for the month of september that is the reason why these information my invert supply or my purchases for the month of september whatever I have entered it says it is available only in the books so reconciled no problem we know for sure that we are going to get the input tax credit on these amount and let us see what is this mismatch amount so when you come here and when you click on GST info you will see here that there is a paise difference here the figure that we are seeing in the black is the entry as per our book and the amount on portal is 879 so since there is just we can always reconcile this and change the status as reconcile so how do we change the status of this all you have to do is just come here and press shift enter so that it gives you the transaction detail take your cursor to your purchase transaction and then if you notice here on the right hand side you have this button called set gst status click on set gst status and the gst status you can now say for 2a 2b and 3b so you come here and when you press spacebar you have the list of statuses where we can say it is reconciled which means you are now reconciling manually again spacebar reconciled now you will observe so that this particular bill is also reconciled now this one transaction here it is not showing this information here and the status is also not updated here so when you go here and go to the purchase entry you will see that this is an exempted purchase so that is the reason why it is not reflecting for the itc you can select any of the reconciled transaction and when you click on gst info here you will see again the gst info as per books and as per portal the second method where you can view your itc at risk is that if you have not enabled billwise detail for your party masters then you can go to the ledger outstanding of the party and then you can view the transactions that you have captured and the transactions that are reflecting on the portal so how do we do that click on go to and if you see here tally is provided predefined reports for you considering the gst aspects bills payable gst sundry creditors when you select this and when you enter automatically it will take you to the gst outstanding report where it is going to give you all the details the same report just now we saw we are able to access this report through this option also now we want to view the ledger vouchers for gst reconciliation or viewing the itc at risk so if you come here you have this option here which is again predefined report created by tally ledger vouchers gst detail this is directly your ledger voucher transactions so select here it is going to ask you which party so i will say click tell retail ka ka is basically karnataka since if you notice here they have branches across the country so you can't create a ledger with the single name so that is the reason why you will see here that ka gj tn delhi gujarat haryana i have created this so that you know you can identify and create multiple ledgers when you are capturing your invert supply so i'm going to select ka and this is again it shows by default the current month which is for the month of september and it says it is available only in the book now we have to see from august so i'm going to say alt f2 aug enter and press enter here so you will see here again that this option reconciled is showing here now if you want to see the book value and the portal value again remember click on f12 configure you have this option called show breakup of book and portal amount make this as yes and if you want to see only available on the portal just say yes so that that particular party's transaction even if you have not captured in your books of account if it is uploaded and if it is appearing on the portal it is going to show you that transaction also for this particular ledger master so i'm going to press ctrl a and you will see the same information here invoice amount tax amount and we will notice here that there is no difference in the tax amount now if you want to see the gst portal value on the right hand side button bar you have this gst portal value click on this 
it is now going to show you the portal value this is your book value anything that you see in black font is what you have accounted the rate of gst is also there now if you want to see the portal value again come here and click on show portal value and this is the portal value itc available yes itc available itc is available yes reverse charge it is not applicable and you will see this this is what you have captured through the ledger master and this is the data that is reflected on the portal and the values everything is matching date of invoice we have accounted on 11th of august the party is also showing on 11th of august so every information is reconciled so we don't have to worry about this again in this case if you want to see the gst info select the particular transaction and click on gst info it is now going to give you the gst info the way we saw in our pending bill outstanding report so it says invoice number 17 gst status is reconciled and amount in books and amount on portal both are matching and there is no difference in the tax amount if there is any difference in the tax amount tally is going to show you what is the difference in the tax amount now tally is given another wonderful feature where when you are seeing the outstanding of your party master through your bills payable report and if there is any difference in the tax amount and when you want to settle their bill there is an option in tally where you can settle the bill only to the extent of the amount that gets reflected on the portal ignoring the difference amount and once the difference amount gets captured properly on the portal uploaded by your vendor you can pay the difference amount so this way your cash flow is taken care and you are not going to make double payment one you would have already paid to the vendor and since the difference amount you are, you cannot claim input tax credit you have to basically the credit gets reduced and eventually you are going to pay to that extent extra money towards your gst liability now for this i will take you to the video that is presented by tally solutions since i don't have this difference amount value in my live data so i'm going to now take you to the video of tally solutions so this is the ledger amount of the party pending bill detail and the difference in the tax amount you will see that there is 1800 rupees difference which when you click on settle bill you will notice that the total amount is shown as bill settlement amount so we don't want to make full payment so what you do now you want to pay the party less 1800 so click on f12 configure and you have this option called settle bills as per difference in amount set this to yes enter and now when you go to settle bill and when you click here you will notice that the amount considered is difference in tax amount and 21800 is only you are going to make the payment I hope this wonderful feature of ITC at risk gives you a clear picture of your cash flow management and also quickly allows you to do a quick follow up with your vendors, those who have not uploaded the invoice or if there is any amount pending to be paid, you get a clarity that since the bill is not updated or uploaded by the vendor, you can only make the payment towards the bill minus the GST amount and you can make the payment of GST later on when the vendor is uploading the invoice. That way you can ensure that your ITC is guaranteed. So we will see more such exciting online or connected GST features in our upcoming videos. Thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.